right, it's been a little while, but we have got our heads back from the machine shop. And they did a really good job. They got this surfaced, and they even surfaced the exhaust side. And they've got the correct springs in here for our roller lifters. And so I think we're just about ready to bolt these heads on. And then we can go ahead and measure for the correct push rod length. And from there on out, once we get our push rods in there, we'll be pretty much going to wrap this up. Do a little bit more uh, cleaning some of the oil off of it and get it all painted up. And it'll be just about ready to put in the car when we're ready for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these heads on here and torque them down. got my head set on there and I like to just dip my head bolts in oil so that uh, you get an accurate torque spec and this part of the bolt is gonna seal up to the head so it needs a little lubrication so you don't get a false torque spec and let's see uh, stud position on this one should be over here and got no stud there and let's see we're gonna have this one here and a long one over here and Let's see, one more short one. So, get these in here, run them all down, and then torque them down. couple hours later and we ran into a little problem the cylinder head chambers was hitting on these pistons right there and with this light I hope you can see it but there's a line right there where it was hitting so I hadn't torqued the heads down yet. I just ran the bolts down. I decided, well, I'm going to put the balancer on and make sure that everything's clearing. And sure enough, it did. But I didn't want to leave today without a solution. So this edge right here was really sharp from being machined down and surfaced. And went in here with the burr and just tapered it back a little bit right in that area and especially right here and right here where it was hitting pretty hard so went and got another case of brake parts cleaner and uh, washed this head down with how oh, about three cans just to get all the metal filings out of it and went ahead and run the bolts down Everything seemed to clear, turned it over several times, went ahead and torqued it down, and she's rolling right over. No more clearance problems. So, it's getting kind of late today, so I think I'm going to come in tomorrow and clean this head up really good, set a couple bolts in it, turn it over, see if we got any clearance issues. Decided to do one head at a time so that if I know something's not clearing it's going to be this one because i've already checked that one so 
We're going to come in tomorrow and see if we can't finish putting these heads on. All right, it's the next day. And I've got this head cleaned up. Used multiple cans of braid parts cleaner. Blew it down really good. And I got all my bolts in there and run them down. Turned it over. Got plenty of clearance now. So I'm going to go ahead and get these torqued down. And throw my lifters in a bucket of oil so they can soak for a while. And then we can get our lifters in there. She turns over now. We'll go around a couple of revolutions. Make sure all the pistons are coming up to TDC. And so far, after torquing both heads down, seems like we've got plenty of clearance. Probably took a little more than really needed to. Just wanted to make sure we're going to have lots of clearance. So, all in the pursuit of horsepower. Took a little bit of doing and it's a little nerve wracking grinding on heads that have already been surfaced, but it was really careful. And uh, so now just got to go ahead and get our lifters soaked in the bucket of oil and we can put them in there and have a buddy of mine from the machine shop come up and measure the length of the push rods. Get all our studs and stuff in there. And we can uh, go ahead and keep working on assembling this motor. Okay, had a pretty busy week this week. Even got to work on a few uh, classics, this old uh, Buick and over there old Oldsmobile. And, well, the shop's a mess. But, this is what I got going on with the Trans Am motor. I had to order a push rod checker and I got the right lengths and made it a tiny bit longer, a few thousandths, um, so that I got a little bit of adjustment. But one thing that I did run into is that the set of studs that I got, the shortest ones I could get are still too long to fit this down in there. So what I'm having to do is cut them down so that uh, I can use these uh, adjustable types because originally, the original ones, there's no adjustment. You just tighten them all the way down and that should be where your push rod length is right for regular flat tappet cams. But of course, we're using these roller uh, lifters and they're quite a bit longer. So I've got the push rods on order, but meanwhile, I wanna get these studs cut down so that we'll have plenty of adjustment. And that way we can put all the push rods in, get them adjusted, I think I might even see if I can't get a flywheel on this and a starter. Stick the distributor in there so it's pumping oil, fill it up with oil. And crank it over and check the compression, make sure that we got our valves adjusted right. So, I'm going to go ahead and get all these studs chopped down. And that way we have plenty of adjustment up and down. So, we're going to go ahead and get going on that. Okay, did a little more measuring and adjusting and I discovered I needed to cut off just a little bit more because we want this set screw to be able to go all the way down and it won't be able to do that with a stud too long. So that way we got plenty of adjustment in and out and we'll be able to use all the threads of that set screw. Before they were sticking up about, well, about there, and that's not good. So 
Uh, did a little more measuring, and I'm going to cut them all off about there. Still leaves about 5 8 threads. And these are just uh, 454 studs that I got from O'Reilly's. But they're the more heavy-duty ones. They're the uh, 7 16 20. And these adjustable nuts and set screws fit them. So, I think we got our length right. And... Now, we just gotta get the right length of studs. I'm sure if I ordered these together with studs, they'd be the right length, but hey, they were they were uh, uh, available at O'Reilly, so I just got the shortest ones I could, and now we're just gonna chop them down a little bit. So, show you what I got going on over here. We have everything set up in the vise. And I've got a lug nut that happens to be 7 16 20. So, right here is the correct amount that we need to chop off. So, I've got it all set up so I can chop them all off. And when I'm done, I got the drill with the wire wheel. Can I, so I can take the, all the burrs off from the chopping so i'm gonna go ahead and get going on that but uh another thing is is i've got all my parts rounded up for the 440 on the belvedere we got the crank gap back it's uh ground tan under we got our rods pressed onto the pistons i've got the upgraded rear main seal main bearings rod bearings rings so We'll be able to start putting our short block together on that here real soon. And there's a new intake for the Pontiac. And uh, it's going to look a lot better than the stock one. It had all that EGR and stuff on there. So we're going to go ahead and get these studs chopped down. And next Tuesday, push rods come in so we can start putting it together. So here we go with that. Okay, we got a bunch of them cut off and smoothed out with a wire wheel, took all the burrs off. Got 10 more to go, but I'm running out of wheel, so I need to change that. And we'll get the rest of these cut off and then go ahead and put some Loctite on them and screw them down to the heads. Then all we'll need is our push rods. So I'm going to finish these up and then start getting them mounted. All right, got all my rocker studs uh, cleaned up, checked all of the threads, make sure there wasn't no burrs. Had to do a little cleaning on the burrs a little bit more, but uh, got them to where the threads are all good on them. And I'm gonna put some Loctite and torque them down to 55 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolted on down. Okay, got all my rockers on, rocker nuts, and 
I've got them to where they're just down enough to where I can still get my push rods in. And got my valve covers cleaned up somewhat. And it appears that they're going to clear the lockers. So I wanted to use these factory original chrome uh, valve covers because they actually came with the car. I have to do a little bit of maybe polishing and cleaning up on them, but uh, I think they'll look good. Um, so from here on out, we're just waiting on push rods. And it looks like they're going to be here Tuesday. Maybe even earlier. They're already in Jackson, Mississippi, so they might make it down here to the Gulf Coast by tomorrow. We'll see. But that's about as far as we can go on this right now. And we're just going to set it aside until we get our push rods. Okay. UPS showed up today with the push rods from Summit Racing. And actually even a day early. Uh, that's why I like it when they ship UPS. So I'm going to get this opened up and see what we got in here. Usually they got a little box inside of a big box. This open. Here we go. Well, it's stuck in there. All right. Awesome. Now we can see if we can get them in there and adjust the valves. Okay, number seven cylinder is already sitting on the base circle on both intake and exhaust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one adjusted. Okay. The way I like to do these is I get it tightened down until you start to feel just a little bit of resistance and then you know you're at zero lash. So once you're there, okay we've gone a little bit past. Right there. Okay. Once they're at zero lash, I like to go half a turn and you go a full turn with a stock cam. So I'm about there. We're gonna go right there. Should be half a turn. Okay. Now, we can go ahead and tighten down our set screw. Just make sure it ain't going to move on us. And I think we got that one adjusted. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and see if we get a little compression. I turn it over by hand. And we're coming up on the compression stroke. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, just almost 40 PSI. Okay, that's pretty good for just turning it by hand. All right, good. All right, that's one down. Seven more to go. We'll go ahead and get these adjusted. Okay. Got all my valves adjusted, check compression on the cylinders, and they're all good. I want to uh, use the primer tool and make sure everything's flowing good, pump it up. I got my oil filter adapter on. I just got to get a filter and some oil. I'm going to pump it up with a drill and make sure that all the push rods are oiling and make sure we're all good. 
All right, it's the next day, and I got my filter, a priming tool, and some oil. And we're going to go ahead and spin up the oil pump and see if we get good lubrication up here. Drill's getting hot. Let's try another drill. All right, well, overheated two drills, but we're getting good oil flow all of the rockers. Starting to fill up the heads with oil. You can see it bubbling around the uh, lifters and squirting out here and there. So we're looking pretty good on oil pressure. And I think uh, I'm gonna come in tomorrow and try to clean all the oil off the outside of the motor and a little bit of surface rust and get her painted up good. All right, it's the next day and I've got all the oil residue off the motor and I gotta get my valley pan in here and we're gonna mask off the valve covers and set them on there. Got the balancer off, got that masked off. Got to mask off a few little things, sensors and whatnot. And I think we're going to be ready to paint. Uh... We got it all masked off and it's all ready to paint.
Pretty soon it's going to be all Pontiac blue. Woohoo! Well, we got a light coat on. We're gonna let this dry and put another coat back on it till we get it all done. Alrighty, got our manifold out here and measuring the intake bolts. These are the stock ones and they're really ugly and rusty. So, I wanna try to find some stainless ones and measured them an inch and a quarter might be a little hard to find but we're gonna have to run around see if we can find some inch and a quarter stainless or maybe chrome so we don't have rust streaks going down everywhere on our pretty intake so i'm gonna go ahead and head to town try to find some bolts We got several coats of this beautiful Pontiac blue paint. We're gonna let it sit here and dry and we have to run to the store and look for some stainless steel bolts for our pretty intake manifold. Get this sucker looking super sweet. Okay, I think we can finally get this Pontiac 400 put together for the Trans Am. Spent a little while in the machine shop, but we finally got everything back and all together. So I've been working all morning on getting stuff ready. Peeled off all the tape and I've got this little rubber gasket where it seals up against the back of the timing cover. And got my valve covers peeled off. I'll ready to go back on got the gaskets there got the intake gaskets over there got the little keepers that hold the gaskets in place uh, i've got this little special bolt all cleaned up that uh, pulls the uh, intake forward to seal up against for the water pump bypass and off the old manifold i got this uh, throttle bucket still got to get that cleaned up and some of the uh little allen bolts that we finally rounded up had to go about three or four lows to get enough for the intake got my special tool number 49 so i can get to the ones that you can't fit this allen socket on got the distributor all down cleaned up and the original bolt was just kind of nasty, so I found a stainless one, all right links and stuff. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the uh, intake and valve covers all bolted on.
got all my intake manifold bolts tightened down and I didn't use a torque wrench because couldn't fit the Allen head tool in here with a torque wrench. Um, I did it by by feel and uh, if if you're not a very experienced mechanic I wouldn't recommend that I would recommend that you use a torque wrench but I've been doing this for 49 years and kind of get a feel for uh, tightening bolts so um, another thing you want to do is uh, you want to go around twice because you the torque sequence on all sequences are a spiral so in other words if you start here you're gonna go here 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 then here 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 and then all the way around to here they're all a spiral you can connect the dots if you look at any torque sequence but when you come back to the center ones again after you've torqued down the outer ones these will be loose so you have to go around twice and get them snug down good so now i think uh we can go ahead and get our valve cover gaskets glued onto the valve covers and round up some bolts and get them bolted on and put a few little odds and ends some plugs in here and you know just uh, kind of finish up all the little odds and ends. So here we go with that. All right, I got all my pulleys out of the dip and it almost took all of the paint off so i'm gonna go ahead and wire wheel the what's left of the paint and get these in etching primer Okay, I'm about ready to go ahead and put these valve covers on. But before I do, I want to drizzle a little bit of STP on all the rockers. Just so uh, when we do go to start it up, they ain't going to start up dry. Got this all covered up with aluminum tape so we don't get nothing down in there we don't want in there. And I'm going to put these valve covers on. Uh, just finger tight today because the silicone ain't quite dry. I'll come in tomorrow and tighten them down once that silicone is set up. So we're going to go ahead and get these on here and finish painting our pulleys. And when that dries, maybe tomorrow we'll come in and bolt all that stuff on. Okay, I've got a few plugs in and the throttle adapter bracket and my note so I don't forget to tighten my valve covers and got all my pulleys and balancer and whatnot over here and getting ready to dry so you come in tomorrow and bolt on all that stuff put my thermostat housing on temperature sensor I gotta find another plug. So, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and see if we can't finish this up.
right, got uh, all my little odds and ends on. Got my crank pulley, uh, thermostat housing, little bracket for the throttle. And still haven't got the plugs. They want like $18 for a set of eight or something. You know, I ain't paying two bucks a piece for plugs. I'll find them somewhere else. So I uh, still got to get the water pump studs for that pulley. But for the most part, uh, she's all together and just about ready to go in. So that's going to be about it for this video. And we appreciate y'all watching. And we'll see y'all next time.